Crocs. Bike blogger here. These are my Crocs on the clock shoes. Uh, it's really rainy today. Uh, it's actually quite warm. January 2020 and it's about 60 Fahrenheit. It's a pretty warm winter we're having here. Uh, these are some nice waterproof shoes. Uh, biggest complaint people have about them is the looks. They're rubber shoes. But um, they're actually quite uh, they're actually quite comfortable. Uh, my feet are completely dry. I do have some waterproof socks on too. Probably a little extreme considering the uh, temperature outside right now being about 60 Fahrenheit. Um, I got my bike here outfitted with fenders because uh, it is a rainy day today. Um, this is the Surly Cross Check. I did a video on that earlier. It's a single speed bike as you can see there. Um, I'm completely dry right now. Uh, it's not raining really hard, but what is more of a concern when it's raining is the dirty water on the ground kicking up at you. And uh, fenders will really help you out a lot there. I also wear some golf pants, some athletic uh, sort of uh, uh, a wicking, or I don't know, if it's kind of a wicking fabric, but it's a polyester fabric. So the rain it'll take a lot more intensity, a higher intensity of rain to really soak your pants and then they'll dry quicker than um, you know having cotton pants or something so I do recommend that. Uh, I got a nice, uh, this is a cheap this this jacket I bought was, I bought it years ago uh, for cheap, I think 20 bucks. It's, it's again another polyester sort of a, a fabric um, uh, you can get some that don't stink because polyester is known to stink with uh, sweat. But take a shower before you go. Get all those that dirty, smelly bacteria off you uh, and you'll be good to go. Um, so if you have any questions about the Crocs on the Clock shoes, let me know. Uh, Crocs with socks, yay or nay? What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below and let's go to work. Okay, let's go to work on our bike commute to work. So uh, one thing I did not mention about my Crocs shoes is that I have these platform pedals which um, have these sharp little spikes on them and these little pins. Uh, so obviously if you're gonna wear flat footed shoes, flat shoes, uh, regular shoes, you should obviously wear or use uh, flat pedals, platform pedals. Um, uh, I don't know, you might be able to somehow screw a uh, cleat onto a Croc shoe, or maybe Crocs actually has a cycling shoe. I'm not sure. I wouldn't really recommend screwing a cleat onto a shoe, though. Um, unless it was, you know, supported by uh, something more firm. That's the thing about Crocs, is they are rubber shoes, so they're very flexible. They're not very stiff. So they're not ideal for cycling. But if you're not going, you know, really far or really fast, they work pretty well. Um, for commuting, they seem to be working okay for me. They only cost me, I don't know, $25 or something. Not very expensive. Um, it is rather warm outside though, and being that they are almost entirely enclosed. They do have a couple little holes at the bottom for drainage uh, if you're, you know, your foot gets wet. Uh, I would rather recommend in warmer climates or when it's warm and it's wet outside to wear uh, cycling sandals. Uh, I think my first YouTube video was uh, me talking a little bit about my cycling sandals, uh, Shimano. Uh, you can just wear cycling sandals in winter. Uh, just double up on your socks. Um, and it work quite well. Your feet will dry off quicker too. Um, you could wear Crocs without socks. Uh, obviously just don't wear cotton socks. Uh, Cause that will like never dry. I 
for the big puddle. Um, so yeah, I do. Uh, I do think I recommend the Croc shoes uh, if you know you have the right kind of bicycle for it with the platform pedals. When it's cold outside, I expect these to work quite well. It's not really cold right now though. Um, because on my regular cycling shoes, I have all sorts of vents everywhere because they're meant for summertime or warm weather riding. And I'd actually put a shoe cover over them uh, to prevent the wind from getting in and freezing my toes. Um, one option is if you have regular cycling shoes like that, you can get uh, little rubber rubberized plastic like over shoes like a big sock you put over the shoe so look into that that might make more sense than a whole nother set of shoes um, <laughs> would I wear my Crocs at work well I always recommend leaving work shoes and work pants and your belt at work you don't need to be really dragging that around every day in my opinion unless you like to wear a fresh pair of pants every day or you have a job that is very dirty and you need to wash your clothes every day your work uh work pants gotta stay looking good i understand that um not sure if we'll make this light or not. I think we might. In our crocs. In our crocs. Woo. Up the little hill. After there right there. We made it. We made it. signaled to let that guy know I was going left. Um, oh. One thing you have to be really careful with though when it's wet outside is going too fast. I'm running some wide tires so I let some of the air pressure out and because uh, I pump up my tires every day just habit with my road bikes. Um, let some air out. Gives me a little more grip. Should. But, uh, it won't save me from going, you know, 20 plus miles per hour on a, on a tight curve. So, just use some common sense and don't do that. Woo! So, another thing you can do in the winter time, if you're getting cold feet, <laughs> is uh, supposedly you can put your bare foot inside a, uh, a plastic bag. <laughs> that really doesn't sound like a good idea to me, but that will definitely keep you warm because it's definitely going to keep out the wind. Um, and then put a sock over that, I guess. Let's make a left here. Nice and easy. Fortunately, it's just wet. There's uh, no ice in the road at all. I mean, everything would be melted now. We're supposed to get a lot more rain later this afternoon, uh, causing flash flooding. What's going on here? Picking up some weed. Up the hill. I heard there's uh, there's some warnings out. The Pacific Northwest might be getting uh, some snow in the valley. We'll see if that actually pans out. This is just a really weird winter. 
weather-wise. Alright. On our way to work today. On our way to work today. Woo. So one thing you can do if you're worried about getting wet shoes, that's my main reason for wearing Crocs is not so much to protect my feet, but that way I don't have to have uh, have my shoes dry at work. But if you get a little airflow over the shoes and you stuff them full of newspaper or paper towels or something, they will dry faster. Yeah, I'm actually, uh, I was gonna say melting, I'm actually sweating. Uh, cause it is so warm today, I don't know what is, what is going on here with this weather, it's just crazy. I don't know if that's a bad sign of things to come, like if it's gonna be extremely cold, but I know last year we had almost three weeks straight where it never got above freezing, the freezing point of water. It was uh, below 32 Fahrenheit or zero Celsius for three weeks in a row, which is odd also in my neck of the woods, so yeah. Weather just seems that, you know, weather is just not very consistent, it seems like, anymore uh, uh, inland, away from the, away from the, you know, the ocean, away from the coast. Although even the ocean is kind of weird with all these hurricanes are getting, and, uh, and the crazy, crazy way they seem to pop up out of nowhere, and then they reverse course 180 degrees and stuff. That's been going on for decades, but, yeah things to think about while you're on a bike. <laughs> uh, see, uh, I don't know if I can stick my foot out in front of you here, but there's a croc. There's a croc. Um, Crocs is a, uh, at least originally was a um, California, or no, Colorado company. Um, Crocs are modeled on uh, wooden clog shoes, I think is uh, I think a European thing or something I don't know um, so that's what they're modeling but I think they have a whole bunch of different options nowadays than what they originally had I mean the ones I'm wearing do look like kind of rubber clogs but uh yeah they're doing a great job they're just not they're not supposed to soak up water they're rubber um, I've heard some people say oh no you don't wear socks with them I saw a photo online of George W. Bush wearing clogs or a uh, clog, uh, Crocs with socks. A lot of people think that's a big no-no. Um, yeah, you, you can wear them. Uh, people wear them to water parks. Uh, I just have a concern with. Uh, I just have a concern like, hey, if you're gonna wear them with no socks, could you get a blister? A lot of people say no. But that's if you're walking in them. I imagine if you're riding a bike with them, I don't know, depending on your pedaling technique, could be more risk there. So I'll, I'll definitely wear them with socks. But when it's this warm, really, I'm probably just going to wear sandals, cycling sandals. Cycling sandals have a little lip on the end of them. So if you were to fall, there'd be less of a chance you'd hurt your toe because it kind of curves up at the end of the sole. Um, also, cycling sandals are generally, you know, for clipless pedals, but if you're not going very far, you could probably get away with it. So anyway, we're at work now. That's it for me. I still feel completely dry, except I'm sweaty because I'm overdressed. <laughs>
So I will see you next time.